everyone. Today on my channel I have a stationery haul for you. I actually had a little trip to London. It was very short. It was just for three days and yeah I picked up a little a few little stationery items. First of all I did want to show you what I took with me. I had a very small selection with me this time and in fact I didn't even use all of these. The only thing that I used was this pen. <laughs> Um, that was it. I didn't use any of my other fountain pens, pencils, I even had this really cute watercolour set and I didn't use that either. Um, I guess it's because I, there wasn't really time to journal to be honest, like I didn't go anywhere in particular and sit down and make time for it, which I think you kind of need to do if you are going on a trip, going on holiday, um, it's nice to have that time to journal but London's just not like that, it's one of those big cities, it's really hectic and um, my friend too, she doesn't do any journaling so I felt kind of rude just sitting there drawing while she was doing nothing so <laughs> I actually did this in my spare time so I, this is one of the pages I drew, this was my trip down to London and like as soon as I arrived I had a coffee and met my friend it was really nice and I also took with me a little passport size insert as well and I only drew three pictures in this too so I drew this girl looking kind of cool she <laughs> she looked cool but lonely so I decided to draw her and I also drew this one line contour of a little cafe that I was in as well the window just looked really cool so I did that and then this picture is pretty funny it was quite a funny incident that happened when I was buying a bagel uh, the lady that served me just didn't listen to my order and <laughs> was really quite rude and I thought it was just very funny so I decided to draw her in my journal she reminded me of Miss Trunchable actually if you've ever watched Matilda um, and she didn't put salad on my bagel even though I asked for it so I did like a little drawing saying no salad for you and put the salad in her little pocket but to be fair to it was a very busy day in the bagel shop that we went to. <laughs> so now let's get on with the haul. So first of all I bought this really cute little tote bag. I haven't seen a tote bag like this since I came back from Japan. Um, these are very popular in Japan because they eat they take their um, lunch to school in these little bags uh, so I haven't seen them around here and I found this one in Brick Lane bookshop which was just very cute and I thought it'd be perfect for those days when I just want to take my journal and a few little items out to a cafe or something with me. I do have one already like it but I could not get this one it had Brick Lane on it and I had such a nice time in the bookshop. I bought so many books. It was really lovely and a really nice experience. I wanted to remember it. And it has such a cute illustration on the front as well. So the bag is the first thing. And then I didn't buy a whole lot, honestly. I was quite surprised. So I will show you everything I bought. Um, there was a few stationery shops that I couldn't get to. So I will link all the shops below. Everything that was suggested to me. Thank you so so much if you suggested any stationery shops to me. I will share them all below so if you go to London anytime soon you will know where to go to. So the very first shop I went into was called Artbox and I believe they do have an online store as well. It's a pretty small shop in Covent Garden and I have been there before and they sell lots of mainly Japanese inspired goods on Japanese Korean uh, inspired stationery products so I bought these two sticker packs they were around I think they were £1.80 each which I think is really good for stickers um, very fair price especially in London things tend to be a little bit more expensive quite a bit more expensive um, but these were not these were a good price and everything else I saw in there was mostly Sanrio they had some like BTS um things as well um, but I just love these little stickers they reminded me of me and my husband and they also have a clear back which I really like as well I've actually never bought any stickers from this brand but I do believe this is a Korean sticker brand um Sotier is it something like that so Talia, so I can't see from here, but <laughs> something like that. And then I also really liked these ones. They are little soldiers and it obviously it's meant to remind you of city, perhaps London. 
um, and some I don't recognise any of the uh, the uniforms that they're wearing apart from the red one. <laughs> so I don't know where the uniforms are from, but yeah, it was very cute. And then I went into a shop called Igo, and I had a look, and I believe Igo it, it means like oh my gosh or oh no something like that in Korean. Um, so yeah this was a, a Korean stationery store and I was very excited to explore that because I've never bought any Korean stationery before so yeah that was really fun to explore this little store. The first thing that I got from there was this notebook and honestly the quality of it is so so nice. The paper is really quite thick actually like not super thick but just thicker than I expected it to be for a notebook very nice quality I also think the saying is so cute on the front and I also thought the texture of the front of the book would be a little more um fabric material but it's not it's actually quite smooth which is nice but yeah it says life is better when you're laughing on the front which I love and it's made by the brand called Iconic, I believe. So, yeah, really happy with that. It's a very small pocket pocket notebook size compared to my passport one as well. Um, my traveller's notebook passport because I wondered if it would fit in there. It is a little bit bigger. I would say it's about um, a centimetre, two centimetres bigger than my traveler's notebook one so yeah keep that in mind if you do like that one so this shop that i went to it was actually near brick lane and it was a little pop-up shop but they do have a permanent store i believe as well in london so i will link those below for you so now i'm going to test all of the pens that i purchased and they were all by the brand monami which again is a korean stationery brand um so the first things i got were the first pens i got were <laughs> these three twin color pens brush pens i decided to get brown black and orange my friend actually did a really cool orange picture recently so I kind of copied her thank you for that <laughs> and brown and black I just thought as standard colors and they're okay I do like them they're not as good as obviously some of the other brush pens that you can get like the Tombow markers but they were fairly cheap so if you weigh up the cost then it's okay for this kind of thing it's 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 they're all right but they're not the highest quality so just keep that in mind but they are nice the next thing I bought from Monami was this Olika fountain pen. That's what it's called, Olika fountain pen. And it has a fine tip, which I really quite liked as well. And it had quite a really pretty pattern on the nib as well. It came with three spare inks and they're all in this green color, like this lime green color. And the there, there was a few choices of pens and all the different pens came with different colored inks that matched the barrel, which I thought was quite interesting. So I was going through all the different pens and I don't particularly like this lime green barrel color it doesn't really suit the rest of my stationery that I have however I I just bought it for that particular ink I think because uh, I already have a pink one and I, I don't even know if they had a pink one the other one I liked was blue like an electric blue but I thought I'd go with the green just to make it a little bit different and then I also alongside that I purchased two different uh, colored ink cartridges so I went with red purple which I thought was quite an interesting color and then I also went with I think it's yellow golden yellow is it let's just have a look I think I will show it in a second but it's this really lovely yellowy orange color again I have never used a fountain pen with this color before and I thought it'd be really interesting to draw with golden yellow that's what it's called there you go I do really love drawing with fountain pens I like how how, how small the nib is and how easily it flows and that you can also use it with water if you want to. I do really like it. I just wish that I could change the ink more often. I think that always bothers me. Uh, so you have to use up that ink until you can put a new ink in it. So yeah, So I, but I think I, I really like this green one and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun using it. I had a preppy fountain pen by Pilot, I believe. It's actually right here. Platinum. It's by Platinum. Uh, 
and I had a pink ink in it and I had a like a violet ink in it and I really really love that so I am looking forward to using my new green pen <laughs> and yeah so now I'm just kind of drawing in some of the things I've got and I realized that I forgot this I actually bought these little washi tapes they're two very thin washi tapes I believe they're seven millimeters by ten millimeters and it's really cute they came as a set of two and the one is like smiley face and sad face bears and the other one has this tartan pattern and they're in the green colors and they had quite a few to choose from again this was fairly cheap and the quality is not super nice but for the price that you pay it was it was pretty good honestly the fountain pen i was so so impressed with it's really really nice for the price that you pay i think it would make a really good like my first fountain pen and also something that I noticed that a lot of fountain pens don't come with is that it had a rubber grip, which I think is really useful when you're learning to write with a fountain pen because fountain pens tend to be quite smooth from what I've noticed and your fingers can slide very easily and it's just it's just something extra you have to think about <laughs> like to your hands have to stay in a certain position but this little grip on the on the barrel it really really helped with that so I actually really did rate the fountain pen and it was so easy to write with right from the start when I I remember using my Lamy fountain pen for the first time and it took a while until it got to the smoothness that I was happy with I feel like fountain pens they do mold a little bit to your hands so <laughs> so but with this one it didn't at all it just it, right away it, it was it wrote really nice from the get-go let me know in the comments actually if any of you have used this fountain pen before uh, because I was, like I said, I was really impressed with it for, I believe it was uh, £3 something, so around $4 um, and I thought for the price it was really good. So yes, that is it. That is my mini London haul. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. Like I said, some of the stationery shops that were suggested to me were actually closed on the day I went, which was unfortunate, <laughs> but I will still link them below for you. And some do have online stores as well. So you can have a little look on there if you're feeling like you want to treat yourself today. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again next Sunday with a brand new video. Take care, everybody. Have a lovely week. Bye.